Sean, I don't know how you've done it. You are a genius. You have somehow saved the worst Everton team of all time from relegation. Just how have you done this, Sean? Look, I'm in complete shock. Um, I haven't got much to say apart from I am the greatest manager ever born in the existence of the world. I am unbelievable. How have I kept these clowns up? I don't know. Honest, honestly, I can't believe it. Everton fans said, before I came in, we're down. I've come in and I've bloody saved them. Build me a bloody statue now. I've got a goalkeeper with one and a half inch arms. I've got a right back on a bloody Zimmer frame. I've got a left back with two right feet. I've got three centre mids with one bloody goal between them in their whole career. I've got a two foot three bloody French target man umpa up front with one goal in 79 million games and I've got a bloody striker who spent more time in the bloody front of GQ the medical room and the bloody catwalk than in the penalty area scoring goals I'm the greatest manager ever born and some Everton fans want me gone oh, oh do you know what I'm going to count you down for a scrap I'm the greatest manager ever born build that statue now I can't believe I've kept them up I can't believe it Everton survived by the skin of their teeth again, and you said before the game you didn't want any pitch invasion, Sean. I said before the game in my programme notes, they said no pitch invasions. I said we are not celebrating failure, I'm not Frank Lampard, I'm not a bloody loser, OK? At the end of the game, what do I see? A little fat numpty in an Everton shirt running on the pitch and jumping on the players. But, you know, to be fair to Neil Mopey, he wants to celebrate with his teammates, and listen, he's a good lad. Um, I'm sure he'll do well. He'll, he will do well next season at, at Crew Alexander under 12s. He really will. Officially, Everton's greatest manager of all time now. You have pulled a miracle off. Will there be a party tonight to celebrate, Sean? Yeah, look, you know, I didn't want a party, really. Um, you don't want to celebrate failure, but we will have a few drinks. So I want to invite all the lads who've helped to keep Everton Football Club in the Premier League to a party tonight. So it'll be me. Uh, all the Leeds squad, all the Leicester squad and all the Southampton squad for being absolutely crap and uh, for helping to keep us up. Uh, no Everton players allowed apart from Michael Keane, my captain for next season. Um, and yeah, that's the way it is. A lot of speculation also, Sean, that you will receive a massive cash bonus for keeping Everton in the Premier League. Yeah, I mean, look, I've got a 10 million quid bonus for keeping Everton up, um, which is nice. But unfortunately, I've got to give half of it away. Uh, me and Big Sammy, we came to an agreement. Whoever stayed up and got a massive bonus would split it 50 50. So I would have got a few quid if, you know, if Everton went down and Leeds stayed up. So, yeah, you know, mixed emotions on that one, to be fair. And look, Sean, it has to be said, this summer, surely there will be big, 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 big changes at Everton. The work's already begun. The work's already begun. Um, Ashley Barnes, it's done. Free transfer. And hey, listen to this one. Everton fans, you say I don't know what I'm doing. Ivan Tony is an Everton player. Eight month loan deal, 380 grand a week. And what, I'll tell you what, the difference he's going to make is unbelievable. Who'd have thought that? Who'd have put a few quid on Ivan Tony coming to Everton, eh? Well, actually, uh, Ivan Tony did. He's just won 35 million quid. I'll tell you what, that lad is good at gambling. Fair play to him. You came in to save Everton. You've achieved that. What are the plans now for next season, Sean? I mean, you don't need to ask me, ask any Evertonian. We all know how it's going to play out. Uh, basically, now, the club are going to overreact. Probably going to give me a 12-year contract. Uh, I'm going to lose the first 15 games. Calvert-Lewin's going to snap him. Probably his handle on his, his handbag. Uh, be out for 16 years. Uh, Neil Mopé will start every game and not get one shot at goal. Uh, I'll get sad, get a nice juicy payoff. Yeah, the Everton fans will protest outside my house, get my wife in a headlock. Uh, the new owners will bring Wayne Rooney in uh, and he'll take Everton straight to the Championship. That's probably how he'll play out. That's the way I see it. No one can really disagree with it, can they? Everton, aren't we?